Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Tech with Alex Baja. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create and register a middleware in a Laravel level application. Let's get started. Basically, middleware contains defined conditions to be fulfilled by request via any of the HTTP verbs before granting or rejecting access to response or specific parts of an application. So just um, view middleware like a layer that acts, that helps to filter the request coming into an application to decide what should happen or what kind of um, response to give. So that's basically what middleware is. It's, and it's quite important in application because you are going to be having multiple kind of users on your application or different kinds of requests from different um, types of users. For example, say you have a middleware where you want to check the role of a user so that you can grant them access to specific part of the application or probably give them a specific response. So let's just dive into how to create a middleware. So if you head over to your terminal, probably you have your Laravel 11 application open in any code editor of your choice. So this is the terminal. For you to be able to create a middleware in Laravel application, you have to use the artisan command. So you have PHP artisan make middleware, then the name of the middleware. So in this case, we're going to be defining a middleware called check rule. So you just go ahead and then you create it. So when you create a middleware called check rule, so if you head over to the location, you realize that it is located under the middleware directory in the app directory. So here's a check rule. So every other middleware you'll be creating will be located under this middleware directory. Now for this middleware, what we want to do is we want to be able to check if a user has an admin role and then grant them a specific type of response. So I'll just go ahead and then just paste it here. So um, just save time, right? So if a request, if the request has role and the request role is is an admin, then you could return this response. If the user does not have role and is not equal to admin, you can just proceed to other part of the application. Middleware can be applied before or after a request. So it depends on the requirement of your application. So you can either perform before, perform a logic or an action before you grant them access into the application, which we've done here, or you probably perform that action or logic after getting the response. So basically that's how um, middleware works when you are creating one. So for this tutorial, we're just gonna to stick to um, um, handling the request, what should happen before the request is being, before access is being granted. So now, after creating the middleware, you need to register the middleware so that you can use it. In previous versions of Laravel, it is actually registered under the kernel.php file. But in Laravel 11, there is no longer kernel.php file, um, which is usually situated under the HTTP directory. But so now in Laravel 11, it is registered in the app.php file. So I head over to app.php file. And then, so this is located under the bootstrap directory so here you can register any of the middleware you're going to be creating in this use case now we're going to be registering the middleware and there are different ways to register a middleware you can register a middleware globally you can use the alias or you can append it to a particular group so for you to be able to register it globally you can use append so when i say append here for example so it automatically appends this um, check rule to all the HTTP requests that will be coming into the application, they must all the requests must pass through this middleware. But if you don't want to, if you don't want to apply a middleware to all of the requests coming into the application, you can actually use alias. So for alias, it's just like say you want to create a unique name. So I'm going to import this up here. You're going to create a unique name that you're going to apply to specific routes. So you can actually apply um, middleware to specific routes. So maybe a group of routes or to a single route. And then also you have append to group. So if you have, for example, you know, in your web.php file, you may want to apply odd uh, middleware, check group middleware, and maybe other middleware. So you can um, group them here and then apply them. So I can have um, check group middleware, odd middleware, and maybe like four or five middleware I want to apply to specific routes. So I don't have to be listing all of them in the web.php. So that's what append to group does. So you can... So when I want to use it in the web.php file, I will just use the auth dash rule in the web.php file. I'm going to show that in a moment. So this is basically how to register a middleware in a Laravel 11 application. So let's head over to the web.php file so that I can show you how to actually use this middleware. 
So when you head over to the web.php file, so basically I have quite a couple of routes defined here just to explain what I'm trying to achieve here. So if you if you do this now, I'm going to demo how, what, how it works um, at the end of the tutorial. So this is basically saying, um, I'm going to pass in a role parameter when I'm trying to access, when I'm making a request into the application through the home route, and then it will check this middleware has been applied to that route. So it will check if the user, if the user has an admin role, it will return the message that was registered here. It will return this message. If they don't have, if the request, if the user making the request does not have an admin role, maybe I can just use something else instead of admin. It's going to return home. So which I'm going to show you in a moment. However, this is a direct way of applying the middleware. You can use the middleware class inside the middleware method. That's in the middleware chain method. You can just apply the middleware class directly, or you can use the alias name I showed you just now. So whichever one works for you, you can use the alias name, which is check role, or you can use the class name directly within the middleware. But I prefer the alias, which makes the code quite neater. So you could see instead of having to import class here, you could just have to use the alias in case you have need to use it at multiple points. So you can just go back to change one single file instead of having to um, rename file all the time or rename or come here to edit your code. So just like I did in explaining in my previous video how to group use statements in your Laravel application in the route file. So basically it is same way here so that if you have if you have to use check role, if you have to use this check role middleware, middleware class, it's going to be a bit tasking to edit it if anything happens. But when you use an alias, it's pretty much easy. You just go to where the file is located to make any change and then the alias name can still remain. So apparently, this is the page. I can dis define this page to say if there is an issue, you can redirect the user to an error page that says you are not allowed to access the page probably. So but in this case, we're just making a simple request to say the user role of the incoming request is blah, blah, blah. And then, so this is an admin. So I can just say maybe, for example, let's just do something else and say if the user is equal to, let's say, uh, marketer. So let's do marketer, for example. So let's just return redirect to error. Return redirect to error. So just return the user to the error page. So basically, this is what it looks like to apply middleware to a route. And then you can actually apply um, a middleware to a group of routes. So which you can see here, it's applied to the home route and to the um, to the blog route also. So the check room middleware is going to be applied to these both routes for a user to be able to have access to them. So it's going to check before the request is being granted into the application. And then also, so using the last name, check role and auth, you can have you can apply multiple middleware to a specific route. And then so there could be a situation where you want to exempt a particular route from the middleware check. So you can use without middleware. So what this intent, what this does is that it basically ignores block from being checked by the middleware that is defined called check rule. So let's head over to the browser so that I can show you, uh, I can demo what we've done so far. All right, so this is the demo on a web browser. So we're trying to access, so trying to access the home route here. And then you see when we press enter, it basically returns home because there is no check. Um, the parameters are not being applied. So it goes straight into the application. But if you come here and you say role and you say admin, this response can be returned because the request actually meets the criteria or meets the condition or the action that is to be performed is being satisfied by the request, which is role equal to admin. So, but if I change it to, I think I said marketer and I press enter. So it takes it takes the user to, you are not allowed to access this page because a, market, a marketer is not expected to see that page. So this is basically how the middleware works in it. So the key thing here is that there is a change of how the middleware has been registered in Laravel 11. And then I just have to just explain what it looks like when you're applying the middleware to specific routes or group of routes, or you want to register it globally. So in my subsequent video, I'm going to be creating a series on Laravel where I will explain in depth of how middleware works. Kindly let me know what you think about creating and registering middleware in a Laravel application in the comment section. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly click the subscribe button and share with your friends. Until next time, bye.